Hey YouTubers, hope you've enjoyed our videos as much as we've enjoyed making them. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Down below! Joseph, let's show them how it's done. Oh, I, got, I got the big hammer for it. Smash it! Hey everybody, welcome to Tool Time with J4 and J5. Hey guys, welcome back to Tool Time. It's been a while and today we decided to uh, mix it up a little and we're going to be building uh, the Da Vinci Catapult line. Uh, this is right from National Geographic. We picked this up at a Michaels this weekend. And let's get her open. Let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Now it says we don't need a lot of tools to put this together uh, between the pre-cut wood and some rubber bands. If we follow the directions, it should go fairly smooth. So look, we got some targets. Can I rip them out? Please. We got some targets, we've got our instruction book, and we even have a learning guide that talks a little bit about uh, the catapults, the times that they were invented, and uh, how important they were uh, once castles were built. All right, so let's get our pieces open, and let's begin. <laughs> So we're stuck on these little pieces, you know, you're, if you're applying even pressure, we're not rushing, we're taking our time, uh, we certainly don't want to break anything because uh, very detailed pieces. So what we did is we took uh, a little flathead and Joseph's going to start pushing out these little pieces uh, to be a little bit more careful uh, so we're not chipping out. And we already had a casualty of war. Well that's a rip, that's because you're too strong. All right, let's go. We just got a few more to go. So while Joseph was using the screwdriver, the flathead, I'm sorry, I went ahead and I took uh, what looks like an axle that we'll be using and I was just poking them out of the mainframe. So we've got every one of our pieces uh, completely pushed out and uh, so far we're looking good. All right, let's get rid of this. Go ahead, give it a try. Give it a throw. And these two. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's get going. So step one was to pop out all the pieces. We did that. The kit also came with one, two, three, four rubber bands. And in case there's any edges uh, from, from pushing too hard, um, we have some sandpaper feel. That's a nice grit. We could smooth off maybe even the wheel so it rolls a little better at the end. Okay, uh, the directions also do say every now and then if you want to add a drop of glue uh, to keep it nice and tight uh, to do so, a little wood glue, but you're going to have to wait at least 10 minutes before you move on to the next step. Are we going to wait? No way. We're just going to rubber band it up. Okay, so step yeah. one, Joseph, let's get that, that big uh, hook eye, the small one, and then that little piece. Thank you, sir. Step one, we got one, two, oh, this is where the balls are gonna sit. Hold on, mm. two, okay. So we're gonna attach this right into here. Go ahead, Gra grab the next one. Perfecto, hold on. Let's push this in. They snap, that's a nice tight snap. And they're hard to push. You know, maybe we get your little hammer out of your toolbox. You think we'll need it? Yeah, here. Yes. Gra grab the little thing. Just give it an easy tap. Go ahead. Easy, easy. Perfect. Right. Little tap and we're in. Okay. Now we're going underneath. This is where this is where the cannonball is gonna rest. Okay, and then finally we have this little bottom shape and that's where the cannonballs are gonna gonna sit. We're gonna take this cool little piece. And then when we pull something it launches far. That's right. So that's why we have these car targets. We got the targets. Wait till we get to building all Joseph, you know what? Give that a little tap down. Just a tiny tap down, please. Hold on. Yeah. Just a tiny my boy, good. Okay. Now, step one is complete. Okay, now they're saying take one rubber band one and we're gonna tight 
turn. It's like we're doing uh, Bella's hair in the morning. Okay. Yes. Go a few times, make sure it's nice and tight. That is pretty tight. Let's see if I can fit one more. We don't want. Okay. Step one. We've got the arm that eventually is going to go back, 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 and potential energy. It's going to switch to kinetic, stored to kinetic. Okay. And then it's going to fall over on his back. <laughs> Step two. Let's get uh, an axle and a wheel. Okay. Oh no. One of these guys, it looks like. Yes, one of these guys, Joseph. All right, you gotta hammer this in just a little, just a little, just a little to bring it down. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Right. So you see at the end. So it all lines up flush. See how he's doing it nice and soft? We're not trying to break it? No, like not like that. Not when you're hammering, this is make sure. So when you hammer, this is how you tell when you're hammering softly. When you're hammering softly, it doesn't make like a big sound. Oh, it's a tap, tap, tap sound, like. right? I like that. We do a tap, tap, tap sound. Okay. All right, give me a little tap, Joseph. Wait, 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 wait. That's got to go on the edge here. Hold on, let me line it up. Go ahead. Go ahead, hit it. Perfect. Perfect. All right, freeze. Freeze. Let's do this side. So this base piece, if you could see it, I'm going to show the camera above. It's got sort of like these uh, clasps that once it gets inserted into the wood, it expands. That was very difficult for even me to push in, and we got some firepower, right? Boom! Bang! Firepower! But we made it a little easier with the hammer, so I do recommend yes. a little four ounce hammer could help uh, finish this off. All right, now we're gonna connect this into this side, and then everything should start snapping in, but again, keep in mind the amount of pressure that's coming through here. Joseph, we're gonna have to, let's center this up so everyone can see how careful we're gonna try to be with this. Let me push this down to get a start. We'll line this up here. And we don't need this for now. All right, easy, Joseph. Here we go. I'll just put this in here. Cleaning up the tools. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Go ahead, baby boy. Let's hit it. One at a time. Easy. There you go. There you go. Don't get too out. There we go. Good. We are snapped together. Yeah. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna open this up a little. We're just we we like hammers, you know. We like we like doing things with hammers. Because it's hammer time. Let's hit them with the firepower. Ready? Boom! Bang! Firepower. Powder. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Joseph. This one, please put on that ring. And we are connecting both units together. Can you bring it up here so everyone can see what you're doing? Thank you, sir. Let's take a look at the learning guide while Joseph's doing that. It's always nice to learn something. The catapult. One of the best known weapons is the catapult, which is basically a device that hurls a heavy object using a single throwing arm. The invention of the catapult is often credited to the elder of Syracuse, a Greek who lived around 400 BC. The word catapult comes from the Greek words kata, against or through, and palin, hurl. The Romans and Chinese used them too, um, but they really came to prominence in the Middle Ages largely because of the development of castles. Obviously, they had to fire things over big walls. How big, do, how big are castles? <laughs> The catapult and fly out. All right, let's do the wheels. Wheel time, wheel time. I got one wheel here, you got another wheel there. I got one axle here and one axle here. Let's do one and one. One side first, sir. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. Let's get the big hammer. Let's see. Excellent. Yeah, and it still moves. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. Next one. You know what let's do? We're going to shave this a little. The other one was a little tight. Go yes. ahead. Let's do it. Give me a little hit. <laughs> a little more. 
I feel it going down now. That's it. That's it. That's it. Tight. Nice. Okay. Now for the big parts here. We got to start connecting everything. So we're going to take our our catapult arm from the first. And now we got to slide this all the way through. Joseph, take a look at this. I need your help with this one. Or shy. Shellac in the wheels. Okay. Right, hold on. Hold on. Let's finish this first before we work on that. Yes. All right. We got to push one of the wheels, Joseph. Look at this. Through this hole, that hole, that hole, and that hole. You think you got it? Okay. Okay. Can you do it so everyone can see? Bye. I'm going to work on sanding your ear down. Okay. That tickles. Okay. Push it through. Oh, you gotta get it through all the holes. Line up the holes first. You see it? I see my finger. I'm you see your finger? Side. Yeah. Okay. Line it up. Yes. Excellent. And now, in order to top it off, what do we need? Another one. Oh, you got your wheel. Okay, great. You know, perfecto. Perfecto. Go ahead. Uh, wheel. Wheel, wheel, wheel. The wheel is right there. I like your shirt. Thank you. Where can I get one? Do you have? Just pay attention. Thanks, Mom, for wardrobing us. A little loud because uh, it's not going in. Good, 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 Give it a little test fire. I'll hold the front. Wow. That's not coming back. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. We gotta make them, we gotta make them. Okay, so we got that down. Now we've gotta lock down the mechanism uh, and then when to we're fire. done with everything, we put these like So this, this is very interesting. If you guys see the bottom, there's two little notches. This, and then make the chemicals. And you're making the balls. All right, hold on one sec. Let's get this rubber band up. That is a good looking animal. The idea here is to notch. Remember we we had trouble with this last time, Joseph? Because daddy's fingers are too big. And yes, you weren't you weren't video. graced with small fingers either. So you gotta keep them notched in just like that. And we've gotta have to pinch. Notch them in on the top. Hold off from hammering for one second. Well, let's do the soft end. And then let's get this locked in here we go here we go voila so now we've got our rubber band coming all the way through and it gets connected on the bottom of this that allows us to have a little bit of a reflex right here okay next step extra rubber band we're gonna put that in the tool chest next next project okay now it's time to make the cannonball. So all those little little pieces that we took our time to cut out because yes. uh, we didn't want to break two little halves. Itchy, itchy. They go right together and it takes a little firepower. And it makes to make a cannonball. Alright, come on. Let's make them. Let's make all of them first. And let's shoot one first. Oh. Oh, we're gonna go right to action. Alright, wait, wait, bring it here so everyone sees. So Joseph pulled down the cannon, uh, the catapult arm. He put in a cannonball. Mini cannonball. Okay. Where are we gonna aim? Aim it first. <laughs> Whoa! Look, they gave us targets, but there's no way these targets are gonna work on this table because where Joseph shot it was like a good 15 feet. Don't aim. Don't aim them on me. Accurate. Let's build the cannonballs. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish building our cannonballs and might have a competition of who could hit the target 15 feet out that way. 
Thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed. Let's see if we can get the camera. The Da Vinci catapult. Ready? One, two. Hit mommy. <laughs>